In the heart of Africa's untamed wilderness, slithers a creature cloaked in fear, myth, and raw power. Not the biggest, not the strongest, but definitely the most feared. With a bite faster than thought and venom potent enough to kill ten grown men, this is not your average snake. This is the Black Mamba, the silent shadow of the savannah. And today we uncover the truth behind one of the world's deadliest serpents. Welcome to the wild world of the Black Mamba, a reptile surrounded by mystery, misunderstanding, and undeniable danger. Found across sub-Saharan Africa, the Black Mamba is a legend in its own right. Known for its speed, agility, and most famously, its lethal bite. But is it really the ruthless killer it's made out to be? In this documentary, we'll explore the truth about this iconic snake, its biology, its behavior, and its misunderstood role in nature. Despite the name Black Mamba, this snake isn't actually black. Its body is typically a gray to olive brown color. The name comes from the inside of its mouth, which is a deep, inky black, revealed as a threat display when it feels cornered. Stories of the Black Mamba often describe it as aggressive and even evil, but much of this is myth passed down through fear and folklore. The truth, the Black Mamba prefers to avoid confrontation, striking only when threatened or surprised. Known as the fastest snake in Africa, and possibly the world, the Black Mamba can reach speeds of up to 12 miles per hour or 20 kilometers per hour. That's fast enough to outrun a person over short distances. But don't worry, it rarely chases humans. Its speed is more often used to escape danger or to ambush its prey. It glides across open terrain, weaving through bushes and rocks, using its excellent vision to track rodents, birds, and other small animals. Now to what makes the Black Mamba truly feared? It's venom. A single bite can deliver 100 to 120 milligrams of neurotoxic venom. For perspective, just 15 milligrams can be fatal to an adult human. The venom attacks the nervous system, paralyzing muscles and eventually stopping the heart and lungs. Without anti-venom, death can occur in as little as 30 minutes to three hours. But here's the twist. The black mamba doesn't always inject venom. Like many venomous snakes, it can deliver dry bites. A warning with no venom released, it strikes with terrifying precision, delivering up to 12 bites in rapid succession. Black mambas are found in dry savannas, rocky hills, and open woodlands across eastern and southern Africa, from Ethiopia to South Africa. They are diurnal, active during the day, and seek refuge at night in termite mounds, tree hollows, or abandoned burrows. Contrary to popular belief, the black mamba is not naturally aggressive. It avoids humans whenever possible and only attacks when it feels threatened or trapped. But when it strikes, it doesn't miss. During mating season, males compete for females through wrestling matches, not biting. Once mating is successful, the female lays 10 to 25 eggs in warm, hidden locations like decaying vegetation or termite mounds. The eggs hatch after about 80 to 90 days, and the baby mambas are born fully equipped, fast, venomous, and ready to hunt. They receive no parental care and survive purely on instinct. In the wild, a black mamba can live up to 11 years, but in captivity, they've been known to survive even longer. Because of its fearsome reputation, the black mamba is often killed on sight. Yet like all creatures, it plays a vital role in the ecosystem, controlling rodent populations and keeping the natural balance. Snake bites are a real threat in rural Africa, but education and increased access to anti-venom are saving lives. More and more, local communities are learning to respect the black mamba's space instead of fearing it blindly. After all, these snakes don't want to bite humans. They simply want to survive. So the next time you hear the name black mamba, remember, it's not just a killer. It's a marvel of evolution, a master of survival, a misunderstood predator that deserves our respect, not just our fear. The black mamba isn't evil. It's just nature unfiltered.